videos, demonstrations. Uh, today I'm doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time and I've not had the opportunity to do it. You know, one of those dishes that, you know, when you feel for something that you really want something, something to eat. All right, so I'm, I have here some salted mackerel and I, I bought a lot because I want the mackerel to work out nicely you know salted mackerel and i'm gonna make mackerel rundown uh yes yeah, salt mackerel rundown um here i have some cooked shrimp you know and i'm gonna add this to it yes my friend may add shrimp to my rundown so it's gonna be mackerel and shrimp rundown and um i have my famous grace coconut milk here and i have these uh other ingredients that are gonna be going in there as well as you know we're going to search out the place and find some stuff to put in it now this is going to be served with some grown provision yes grown provision so me have a piece of yellow yam here when we buy over the supermarket me have white yam me have piece of cocoa I have a couple of potatoes and yeah, we're going to do the thing. You understand? So mackerel rundown. That's what's cooking in Yadi Belly's kitchen. I washed my mackerel and I'm now going to add it to the pot. Now this is one pack, you know, of mackerel and they put three in it. One little baby one and two medium sized one. And pretty much what I'm going to do is I have to put this in to, to boil off the salt off it because this comes in brine, okay? So I have to put it on and pretty much cook the, the mackerel um, and get the salt out. So this, that's going to happen for uh, roughly half an hour. You do that for a while just to make sure that you get out all the salt out of that. In this pot I have uh, yellow yam. I have white yam. I have dumplings, um, you know, flour dumplings. I have green banana and I have a piece of dasheen or malanga. That's what I, that's what I hear the Spanish them call it, malanga. So this is going to continue cooking as I prepare I the mackerel. mackerel, folks, that um, has been boiled in some salted water. And I'm just preparing it now. This is the most tedious um, part, uh, uh, Thai pot, catch. The most tedious part of the the um the, the process thank you see all right now me like my mackerel head so i'm gonna put in the head um what i'm doing is generally cleaning it up my wife my wife says she don't like the eye you know um so and the lower part is up you know so what i'm doing is just cleaning it up to uh add it to my custard what y'all say? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're not talking to me, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, folks. So once this is done, as you can see, I have um, I have prepared some stuff here ahead of time. You know, um, my my vegetables and stuff. I have I have prepared. This is onion. Uh, scallions and tomatoes uh, I'm keeping it ve this dish very very simple I, I, I want the true essence of the old time vibe even though I'm mixing it with with a little bit of difference you know so I'm not gonna put a lot of stuff in it because usually I search out the cupboard for stuff to put in it but I'm not doing that this time this time I'm going almost true to farm all right my mackerel has been dealt with um cleaned up and everything and i'm just now gonna add some oil to uh, my my dutchie or stock pot um so i'm gonna saute my my um vegetables all right this is is really a quick 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 dish uh once you get past that stage the the rest of it is is pretty easy I, I have some garlic that I'm gonna rough chop um, in in the in the oil, and because this is I'm gonna be cooking down the custard, uh, the coconut milk. You know you can rough chop your garlics any your, your garlic in any way. I'm using uh, three cloves of garlic for this one.
and even before my garlic starts to to get um, color as, long, as soon as you start to smell the aroma coming from the garlic you can go ahead and add your, your uh, onions Alright, so my onions now, I'm sauteing my onions and yeah, like what I've seen, I'm going to put all, uh, some of my green onions in at this time. I'm using most of the white part. Yeah, I'm putting in the white part at this time. I like the green part to stay a little bit longer so that I can um, use it at almost at the end of the meal. All right, and trust me, this is real. It smells like real Jamaican house now with the, with this, with the, the the stuff going on right now. It smells like real Jamaican house. Let me see if I have any time. Joshua, say something. find one little sprig of thyme and I'm gonna add that right now that's yeah one little piece and now I'm gonna add my coconut milk and this is as I showed you is the grace coconut milk if you were in Jamaica you'd have to go and chop coconut and you know I uh, well well not not you don't have to but you know most Jam old-time Jamaicans do it that way but I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel as I said often on my program since since it has already been done and I trust the grace brand you know uh, to, to give us good quality so pretty much you're gonna make your coconut milk uh, you're gonna try to get your coconut milk up to a boil and I suit this is what you're gonna reduce to make your run down all right it, it, when you're using the original coconut you would juice the, the, the flesh of the coconut and you would you know once you juice it you would cook it down until it forms a custard all right but i don't have the time for that i'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin coconut oil at this stage to also mimic what would happen in with a real coconut because that's one of the factors in a real coconut you would get that coconut oil at the top of the custard and that's where the real nice taste come from mm -hmm. so i'm gonna leave this just to reach to a boil and and start to reduce a little bit and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients so my custard is reduced you know not maybe about a quarter of the way and at this time you know i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen the the smells that is the, that's in the house right now is uh, amazing i'm gonna add a little piece of a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper and um this is a good tip to store your scotch bonnet pepper in the freezer if you especially if you live in areas where you know it's seasonal when you get your, your pepper just store it in the freezer what it does is that it reduces the level of the intensity it reduces the intensity of the heat of the pepper and it you know let your pepper last longer all right so here's my mackerel prepared and i'm just gonna add it now and I'm gonna wow the pepper come up now strong. Oh, wonder if the wife can't eat it. Nobody cannot cross it. I I I must confess I told her that I wanted to do the two packs of of mackerel and she said no. So 
my mackerel look a little bit thinnish I don't say nothing, I leave her at a time you know the lord, yeah the lord shall so this is your rundown as it is now I'm gonna add a little bit of adobo a little bit because adobo is um it has salt and I need the excess salt in this I'm gonna add a little bit of fish seasoning a little bit of old bay and a little dill and that's that's pretty much it by way of seasonings now i don't want the mackerel to, to crush out and to to shred out so i'm not gonna do much by way of moving up and down this thing you know so i'm just gonna put it on on a slow low heat a low low flame or, or or you know on the lowest setting of the stove and just allow it to absorb some of the flavor of the custard okay now at this stage i'm gonna add my tomatoes And as you can see, we like tomatoes, so I'm adding a lot. As I've often said, you can make your dish into whatever you want it to be. You know, wherever you live, wherever your region is, you know, you can add your, your own flavor and style to your dish and make it into what you want it to be. That's one of the good things about that, that I like about, um, you know, living in, 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 in Miami because you get local ingredients but you also get to touch and try other you know flavors i have about half a pound of shrimp here previously cooked um that i've also prepared and i'm adding that at this time so And this is where I leave the pot alone, let it do its thing, keep it on low, and the next step is to play it. All right? Trust me. This is the finished product, ladies and gentlemen. My mackerel and shrimp rundown. As you can see, you know, tender pieces of mackerel, yeah, with shrimp. And I just finished it off with some green onions. Yellow yam dumpling banana soft white yam all cooked down in that nice coconut milk reduction that custard that's what jamaican rundown is and i know you're gonna try this one in your neck of the woods hey if you don't try it you the one losing out yadi belina farin once again mackerel and shrimp rundown mm, can't wait to dig in into this one